Hello guys and welcome to my channel once again for another Super Sunday video. Today I will talk about the one of the best hardwares for the flight simming, uh, which is the Honeycomb Bravo Throttle Quadrant. As many people complain that the configurator is too complicated to use and that there is no way to use Honeycomb with complicated add-ons like FS Labs, I will prove them that there is no need to complain as there are generous people making fully functional Honeycomb profiles uh, for the community for free and you can download them uh, right now. So stay with me and I will show you how to download those profiles and make them active with your simulator. I will also show you how to configure axes uh, within the Prepare 3D in relation with Honeycomb profiles. Enjoy the video and please show me support by subscribing to my channel and leave a like at the end. So let's get started. At first I would like to briefly show you how the Honeycomb Bravo looks like and what does it include in the whole package. As written on the Honeycomb main webpage this hardware add-on really is all-in-one cockpit system featuring 6 configurable axes, a fully functioning autopilot and 7 programmable buttons. Uh, but this still isn't enough, as there is also a trim wheel and also gear and flap lever. I got the hardware in May this year and I really like it as it has the maximum outcome of the features for the product price. The whole hardware will cost you around 230 euros, but uh, very soon the product price will increase to almost 280 euros which is still an affordable price compared to other similar products. Everything from buttons to rotating switches can be configured on personal preferences inside the Honeycomb configurator. And while talking about the configurator, let's see how to make a configuration or how to download one. Let us firstly download the configurator if you haven't done it yet, which is accessible via the Honeycomb main webpage. Go to web page and search for download section at the bottom of the page. Click and select to download the software for Prepare 3D version 5 or for any other simulator that you have. Open it up and it should look like this. Uh, through this configurator you should now have access for configuring every feature on your hardware. This time I will not go into detail on configuring the hardware by yourself but uh, I will take a look on how to import custom Honeycomb Bravo profiles available online and made by other users. But if you still want to adjust custom profiles or make them one by yourself, then please take a look at other videos on YouTube which focus only on making your own profile. But stay with me if you want to simply download a custom profile and activate it within seconds. First thing we want to do before using the custom made profile, we will open up the web page on the Aerosoft forum under download section and we'll search for Bravo Rotor Quadrant profiles. I'll drop a link in the description and upon opening the link you should find some 40 different profiles by now for different aircraft add-ons. Search for your aircraft add-on and then click on it. Of course not all aircraft add-ons have their respective profiles yet but this database is slowly getting larger and maybe in some time also the custom profile for your add-on might be online. If you find yourself good enough to make the profile yourself for a specific add-on, then please share your profile on this database so even more users uh, can enjoy flying their favorite add-ons uh, with your custom profile. But upon clicking on your add-on, there should be the download this file option for the custom profile and click on it. The profile will download or the website will ask you which specific file you want to download. Search for .json file and downloaded it. All profiles should also have the respective document showing the active features or at least a text file explaining which features are supported within the profile like this document of the Flight Sim Labs Airbus A320 profile. After the download is completed, jump back into the Honeycomb configurator and click on Actions, then open Settings and go to Import Profiles. Click on Select Files and navigate through your Downloads folder and find the downloaded files. Upon selecting it, click on the Throttle Profile 
and then click import profiles. A message should appear that the profile is now imported and further now you can activate your profile in the configurator. Go to profiles and search for the profile you have imported and simply select it and click load. After that you only need to go to actions and click activate current profile before starting your simulator. That simply is all you need to know, but if you want to use your Honeycomb profile with Prepare 3D version 5 exclusively, you will also need to make an Axis configuration within Prepare 3D version 5 settings. And that is what I will show you in the next few minutes. Now as said I will also show you how to make your own Axis configuration within the Prepare 3D and how to simply save and change between different profiles. For that reason we will open up this simulator and go to options under the axis assignments. And here we should now configure the axis in relation with the Honeycomb profile. For instance for Airbus A320 we will configure far left axis on the hardware as speed brake lever and the far right as the flaps lever and then the central two axis will be configured as engine throttle for engine number one and two. That's it and also do not forget to delete assignments to all default axes and also buttons before using custom profiles. That's it, after you have configured everything within the axis assignment section, click on export button and the prepare 3D will make an .xml file of your configuration and you can now save it wherever you want. After saving it you can now uh, make as many I uh, call them profiles as you want and then simply change between them by using the import button at axis assignments. Choose your profile and click open. The profile will immediately change the assignments and this will save you much time other than if you should manually need to adjust the axis all over again when flying different aircrafts. Now as we have everything uh, set we can change between profiles within seconds. When I'll go flying a different airplane than a flight before, I first go into the Honeycomb configurator and activate the profile for the plane I will fly, let's say Airbus A320, and then I open up the simulator and head into the options and import or activate the access profile that I made for my airplane and then I am fully ready to fly. You can also change Honeycomb profiles while in the simulator is running but you will need to reload bindings as showed within the simulator to make your profile active. Hopefully this video with my personal advice will save you some time making the profiles or when changing the configuration between the two aircraft types. Please contribute your custom made profiles to the database if you have them and users will surely appreciate your work. Of course you can comment below if you have any further advice about it and please leave a like at the end and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already as I appreciate your support. That's it and see you soon, bye bye.